Yo, what's up, guys? AFC Adino here. I'm bring. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> mm. I'm bringing back the <laughs> balanced galay team, guys. The SD trick galay team. Yeah, I'm a bit of a bad intro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I had the wrong team selected, but um, yeah, if you guys are interested in the team, you can check it out on Patreon. We're just going to play this game. Conkeldor is such a huge threat. Definitely got to keep Galade around. Mamoswine, Rotom, Conkeldor, Starmie. Sacred Sword goes crazy against that team though. Definitely got to look for that. Um, mm, 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 do I want to lead Galade immediately? Nah. We're going to lead uh, Suicune and start clicking Skulls, if possible. Yeah, because this thing is most likely on a Sash. So I just want to be able to uh, do the damage to this, hopefully burn this. That would be really nice. Probably gonna go right on, but uh, I'll just let him. No item, so he might trick me. My Zepto's should be able to debug, I wanna say. against that team so definitely gotta look for that start me play anyway if he volt switches it's dangerous because conkelder can come in but still if he tricks me i don't think it's the biggest deal the only thing i'll be doing with this is teleporting looking at his team at least so we are oh, i don't have teleport I'm so stupid. Uh, God. Oh well. Let me just stealth work then. Goes Scizor. Go accept us immediately. Go bandits. Mamoswine isn't on a. Mamoswine is not on a scarf, uh, on a on a choice band. So in that sense, I should be able to do that. The ice beams knocks me out, but I'll be able to trap him as well with Weavile, um, and we'll try to win the game with Glyscor. Or with um, Sacred Sword from Gallade. I think that's the best uh, best chance we got. Scissor does end up coming in here. Gonna go Glide Score. <laughs> Knowing he's Choice Bandit. Because his Dragonite has to deal with Stealth Rock, which means I can 2 hit KO him with Sacred Sword. Hmm. Gotta go Suicune immediately so I can threaten him with the Ice Beam. Okay, he's that set. Really good to know. Really good to know. Life Orb. throw off a skull there weakening the road on for glide score because that might be an end game for us
I'll just go Chansey. I'm gonna seismic dose can calendar down if he comes in on me. Okay. And we're just gonna seismic dose here, whatever comes in. Okay, cool. So we got some really good damage on this Rodom Wash. He's in Gliscor range now. Good, Kelder. Kelder. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep seismic dosing her. Maybe he's gonna over predict there. I, I'm gonna see if he's faster than me. See, I'm faster. Then we know he's running HP. He's gonna uh, get a shit ton of HP back, back for it did not matter. Oh, we go Galade now. And I'm just gonna Sacred Sword there. I just need to get to, get the chip for Gliscor to knock him out. Because Rodom is in range now. And Scissor should die to Sacred Sword as well. Just need to make sure that Gliscor can take an Ice Shard from Memeswine. This is a bit strange, though. I'm gonna go hard Weavile. Weavile. I guess he's just looking for Chip. Ice Shard there. Because uh, if he goes Conkeldar, I can at least hit him with uh, with Ice Shard. And if he goes Scissor, I can hit Scissor as well. Because I should be getting a free switch here anyway. That's why I didn't sack my... That's why I didn't want him let... I didn't want him let... I didn't want him letting... Wow, I cannot even... Rest my word. Rasp my words, what the heck. My skull there. Oh, that's good enough. Now I have enough to knock him out with facade. And I think extreme speed will kill me, but still. He doesn't do extreme speed though. Cool. Let's go Gliscor here. I'm just gonna Earthquake here in case he's built up. The Psycho Cut should always be able to kill him. But if he's bulking up, I might be able to kill him with uh, Sacred Sword. But I keep Suicune for the Skull on Scissor, knowing he's Choice Bandit. Right. Cool. And now I just click Psycho Cut. The so Bullet Punch did like did below 20, so we fine.
So I think he needs to crit me with Scald. And the reason I made the Gliscor play, by the way, is because uh, Conkeldor hasn't shown Ice Punch yet, so he, he, he could have been non-Ice Punch. Meaning that Gliscor might be able to get off more damage on the Conkeldor. Yeah, like he needed to crit there to knock me out. Because I think my Glide score is going to take a lot from that Bullet Punch as well. I'm going to call it real quick. Because I would be around 50. But I need to protect. Yeah, I guess it was the same result. But just in case Conkeldor was bulky enough or something, uh, I might have been able to do uh, a bit more. Let's uh, look for another game. Yeah, the, um, the Rotom was obviously annoying. For some reason, I thought I had teleport on Chansey. But that makes no sense because it is my stealth rocker. <laughs> Shiny pitch up. That's really cool. So Nido King, Gengar. Looking like my triple sash team. <laughs> Just a bit different. Just a bit different. So Suicune is needed. I'm just afraid of a Scizor or Nido King lead. Let's say I lead Weaver and he leads off with Scizor. It's going to be a free U-turn into a situation I won't like. I'm going to lead Gliscor. If he leads Nido King, I'm just going to Earthquake him. You better not Swords Dance on me, bro. <laughs> I hope, he, I hope he doesn't Swords Dance. That's the weakness of this team. <laughs> okay. Let's band it. Oh, Life Orb. The Adamant? He got five hits, that's why. <laughs> Let's see. I just draft a Scald anyway. Oh, okay, go Star. Burn this guy. Burn this guy. Let him pay for switching into Renatar when you have Suicune. No, he... He doesn't... He doesn't pay for it, unfortunately. I'm gonna go Chansey and with Tread Rocks. Dragon Seals immediately, damn. The heck is this guy doing, bro? Well... Gets me into this, so I'll take it. This, is, this guy is not a threat, though. I think Gliscor could be really good into him. Oh, well, let me just Earthquake then. Whatever. There's no uh, Earthquake immunity on his team, so I'll just do it. Yeah, okay. This guy is pretty strange. Really strange. Is he going to keep clicking Dragon Tail? Or are you, are you going for the rock type move now? Okay. I did a lot. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna click Earthquake here. Yeah, really strange, man. Nice. 
Nice double. <laughs> if you are alive, we're doing... I'm not sure if I kill him, though. I don't think so. But I want to get his damage off anyway. Ice Punch. Damn. Because this allows me to get enchants and click Stealth Rock. That is so much. Oh, you crit me. I was going to say, man. You need to calm down, bro. You need to calm. I need this actually for Suicune. God damn. Why did he have to crit me there? I need him. God damn, bro. Here for... That crit is so stupid, bro. I would have lived too, and <laughs> now I don't. Think a late can live one. Never mind, Galate doesn't live one. <laughs> oh shit, bro. Oh, he dies to rocks at least. So I'm just gonna click Ice Spear. He's definitely life warped. Goes up. Hopefully Swords Dance so I can just heat wave him on the next, next turn. Just U-turns. I need Chansey um, so I can click Toxic on Suicune and force him to click Rest. Yeah, I cannot afford to lose because um, that is not a choice Bandit Scissor. I can live with this. It's gonna click Skull there. It clicks Night Slash. Won't knock him out here. Doesn't get burnt. And he's gonna live another attack. I might as well. I'm just gonna click Ice Beam. I don't wanna burn Suicune, because that is actually gonna be bad if I burn Suicune. Let's go back into Zapdos. Gonna hit Wayfair. Go and knock out the Scizor. Because we, I can technically PP stall his Suicune. I will Volt Switch here. 46. I'll go Chansey. Okay, because I can ki I can kill him with punishment, and he doesn't have scissor behind it. So I'll just wait till he uses rest. There we go. So he's at plus. I want to know if he has sleep talk though. If he, if he has sleep talk. Oh, 
If he has sleep dog, it's going to be a different story. Then I need to sack something first. So I can bring in Weavile. I don't see sleep dog, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm just going to ensure my victory here. Because he probably doesn't know about the punishment Weavile. Okay, cool. So I just need to click him. I need to force him to click rest again, and then uh, we should win. Or I need to let something die and click punishment. At plus four, I will definitely kill him. Okay, that now is a good time. So we just go hard we bomb. And he's gonna be asleep for one more turn, so we click punishment. Doing a shit ton of damage there. Now I can just click it again. If he switches to Gengar, Gengar is going to die. And against Gengar, we just stay in. Because the only way he can kill me is if he's if he's Choice Scarf. But then he's going to lock himself into something which my team can deal with. So goodbye. Yeah, that Nido King critting my chance, he was really annoying, man. That was really annoying. Because I had no switch for Nido King at that point. Because his, his crit did 50-something, so it's going to do like 30 to 35 on his on his poison jab. And he cannot poison me due to sheer force. So I get in my chance. He set up rocks and then clicks off boil. Like, I wanted rocks up because if Nido King switches out, he dies to rocks. That's why I didn't soft boil on that turn. I wanted to make sure rocks were up. Because if, if I soft boil and he goes into Scizor, it might be a bit awkward. So I wanted to make sure I had rocks up, especially because he had a Weavile as well, which I want life or Weavile, which I wanted to punish every time he switches it, it in. But it didn't really go. <laughs> it didn't go as planned, man. You're critting me like that. I'm going to pause the video and we're going to look for one more. Okay. Oh, one second on the timer. Let's see, I see a Volcarona. No Volcarona behind him, though. Superior is definitely... Something we gotta keep in mind. I'll start it off with the Gliscor. Make, sh make sure I've, I have my orb activated. Okay. He leads up with this. Toxic spikes can definitely be annoying. But I'll make sure I have my uh, thing going. Yeah, it is toxic spikes. But I... It's okay, I guess. Worst case, if it's Toxic Spikes, Toxic, but it might be Toxic Spikes, Wisp. I will just uh, debug his shit away. I'm gonna go hard Glade on this turn. Okay, he didn't go for rocks. Um, I, I'm poisoned, that's a bit annoying, but he didn't go for rocks, so... I'm gonna trick here. I'm kind of looking to win this game with my Gliscor. Oh, it goes into this, so this, this thing can never do anything. That's really good. 
Gave me leftovers. I think we just uh, go chance here. <laughs> Because I can toxic this. Okay. Get the get a beautiful poison there. I can to Zapdos we go. I wanna deal with toxic spikes um on Suicune or on Weavile. Just for Rock Tomb, okay. Um, that's actually not bad. Because uh, with, with Rock Tomb, he, he cannot flinch me, and I'm already slower than uh, Excadrill. So, I have to look at my strong points, which is Weavile clicking Ice School Spear against him. And he does indeed go for rocks there. The call mind once on the toxic. Because now he has to switch into me. So he basically used three toxics against me. I'm gonna ice beam here, hoping he goes superior. Oh, he just keeps doing this. I'm going to keep Ice Beaming, though. Because meanwhile, I'm taking his stuff. And against Superior, I can still bring in Zapdos and try to defuck and roost. I'm just gonna rest there. There's the recover. Spearer probably coming in. And it's time to take his... Um, I have to take his Leaf Storms, because without Leaf Storms, I think Suicune wins. Twenty-four. Should still be outside of range. Okay, Dragon Pills is instead. <laughs> Immodest? That did so much. I think it's fine. There's another Leaf Storm. The two Leaf Storms, basically. So he has two left against me. Um, he's probably going to look to Dragon Pulse me now. If he leaves Storm's Chansey, that's fine too. I need to force him out. Okay. Yes, and I'm gonna cycle late now. Because this guy without Leaf Storms is not a threat. Now we go Weavile. And I click Ice School Spear. I can actually click Punishment as well. 
pretty much hits everything. Okay, he's sex superior. Because now my Suicune kind of wins against him. Because Gastron already used one extra Toxic. So Gastron is on three Toxics right now. But without Superior, because without superior, Reuniclus is on a, on a Choice Scarf, so if I set up with, with Suicune, there's very little he can do to stop me. And my Zapdos is still alive, so I'm going to go Glide Square here. Just for a simple Rock Tomb. And I'll just throw off an earthquake. Doesn't really matter. Getting it, getting HP back. Are you scarfed on this? What's going on? This is an opportunity for Zapdos. I could have Swords danced here actually, but I figured if I debug. Okay. I don't need to be full HP at this anyway. I just go back into Suicune. Burn Sleep Turn. Toxic. Nice. Okay. So now this guy cannot beat me. And I already burned a Sleep Turn before. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> You're gonna lose all your toxics, bro. Come on, click it again on me. Do it. If you don't have toxic, I I now have more rest than he has toxics. I have more rest than he has toxics. So he goes into this. What is he? What is he even gonna do here? I already tricked him. Might as well use rest there. There shouldn't be anything he can do to me. He's on a choice scarf. Yeah, that's not gonna do much. I'll eat those. But toxic there, toxic there, toxic, three toxics in a row. Not gonna have much. But that's one, that's one sleep turn. Again, we can get Gliscor in. SD there. Okay, now I'm gonna click facade. Just to figure out what kind of Togekiss we're facing. Okay, it's not Choice Scarf. So what I can do here is... 45. Go for another SD. And then knock him out with the facade. And then there's truly nothing stopping uh, my... There's nothing stopping my Suicune. But I shouldn't die to Air Slash. Yeah, exactly. So I would just facade here. Doesn't matter if Cofagrigus comes in. I can protect on Cofagrigus. I'm at plus four right now, so definitely scary for him. He goes drill. Bye. Since 
since I'm always faster than him. It's gonna protect. Make him think that I'm slower. Because now I, I basically got some free extra HP here, and then I can just knock him out. So now Kovarga just cannot stop me. These ha he does have hacks, but Gliscor should be able to take on Kofagrigus, right? If I'm at plus four, there's no way. There should be no way that he lives. Yeah. Well, Hex doesn't kill me, so we're just going to Airquake two times. Get the poison there on him as well. And he decides to forfeit. Like, I knew Gliscor was going to be really good into him. But him expanding all his Leaf Storms. Basically, I tried to get all his Leaf Storms from Superior. And he, he had he had two more left. He had two more left. But if, by going into Weavel, I will force him out. And if he, then I can always switch in Zapdos onto Superior. Can always switch in Zapdos to Superior, and a Superior can also not knock, knock out Chansey. That's what because Galate, I didn't really need Galate in that game. It would have Galate could have been nice, but it was slower than Excadrill. I don't knock out Togekiss. Like, I would need a Sword Stance, but I'm poisoned, you know. So, I decided to just sacrifice Galate and try to win with Suicune or Gliscor because. Without Superior, Suicune, which is a, which is a little crazy, because like I said, re normally Reuniclus could could one v one me um, if he if he has Calm Mind, especially with Size Shock. But because he was on a Choice Scarf, he couldn't Calm Mind, meaning that Suicune was going to beat him. So that's why that trick on the Reuniclus was really good. I expected him to go into Cofagrigus, but he went Reuniclus instead, which uh, helped me out really well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A bit of a <laughs> Bringing, up, bringing back an old team randomly. Um, but I still hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Check out the team on Patreon. I have a poker paste with an explanation of this team on Patreon. Check out the link in the description. And yeah, uh, join our Discord server. And I hope to see you guys next time. Peace out.